Well, the need for mental health resources, as we've reported over and over and over again, is high. One year ago, the La Crosse Police Department and County teamed up to create a new community resource. News Day Now's Emily Haugen rode along with one of the teams to show us how they're helping meet a critical need. Amy and Ken, by combining resources, responders say the community resource unit is helping to address the whole person in crisis. In moments of crisis, safety means more than just protection. Creating that relationship and trust so they feel they can rely on us and call us in that time of need. Safety is a connection. Lacrosse police officer Joel Miller knows that well. One of the things that's really frustrating as a patrol officer is either not knowing what to do or not having access to the thing that you know needs to be done. By teaming up with mental health crisis specialist Morgan Wachowski, resources are plentiful. Together, teams like Miller and Wachowski take to the streets to meet people in crisis where they're at. Make it better and calm it down. Um, and by doing that, help that person get the help that they need. The program started with a goal of reducing the number of people incarcerated. We've also been able to divert people after arrest. This team believes it's done even more than that. They have like an aversion to police. Walking in with a police uniform, it doesn't matter who's wearing it. Over the past year, the program has built relationships. As we really dive deep into the root cause of the crisis. These first responders come together to get to people quickly. A safe space for people to express how they're feeling um, can really help them find what they need to be successful. And if requested, we'll stay connected to the people they meet. We can provide this service to everyone, um, but providing a little extra to the people that need it a little more can really go a long way in helping them just navigate life every day. First responders say by the, by, that by having this team, they are able to really focus on those who need help the most, even more than they could before. Amy and Ken. All right. Thanks very much, Emily. So these teams do take calls from dispatch as well as calls to the county's crisis line. If you want those resources, you can find them at news8000.com.